Hey everybody and welcome back to another unboxing and review for my Star Trek Starship collection from Eagle Moss. This week's episode will be on the USS Stargazer, aka the Constellation Class, aka Captain Picard's previous ship. First one where he was captain. Um, yeah. Alright, let's check her out. Alright, so as always, the stand is made out of metal. We got the back here, the belt, uh, the felt backing, the, and the sticker here. USS Stargazer NCC 2893. Alright, let's get the stand on. And you see, this is a very wide stand. But when you get a closer look at the ship, it's actually a pretty big model, so it's understandable. Oh wow, that's really tough. Okay, cool. No worries about this popping off. That's always good. Alright, and here we have it, folks. The Stargazer. It's a pretty big model. The decals here are in place and nicely placed. Uh, nothing off centered. And there's Azteking, which is also very good, very awesome. I like that. Got the very almost movie era warp themselves. I say almost because they are slightly different. Cool. Nice detailing along the cells here. Nice back view. Side view, very nice front view. Although I've already spotted a problem with this model, uh, but we'll talk about it in a sec. Nice front view, a nice look at the top again. And let's take a look at this bottom. Very nice detail on the bottom here. This is a beautiful ship. You see why Captain Picard can't look, let go of her. Alright, now the thing I've noticed about this ship. <coughs> you look at the saucer. Um, unless this what was always meant to be and then when it was transferred over to actual studio model uh, they made it thicker but it's supposed to be much thicker than this the saucer it was much thicker than this I mean, even in Star Trek online the ship itself has a very thick saucer but on the show it had a thicker saucer the USS Hathaway for example uh, during uh, the episode peak performance, you know, same thing. It was uh, a much thicker saucer. So I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. All right, let's see how this thing displays. So far that's my only problem with it, but I don't even know if that'll affect my rating, because, yeah, um, there might be reasons. 
Make sure it attaches pretty nicely on here. Very sturdy. Looks really good. Man, look how that displays. That displays beautifully. Yeah, this ship looks, this, uh, this ship looks really nice. Good job, Eagle Moss. I'm still curious about this the thickness of the, uh, the saucer, but uh, yeah, looks really good. All right. Um, yeah, let's read the magazine. Okay, let's check out the magazine for the USS Stargazer Constellation class. Now this image here shows that the saucer is the proper thickness in comparison to the model, but I don't know. Um, if they're going to maintain this throughout the magazine, I think I might just include some screenshots of the episode just to show you guys that I'm not crazy. That's a nice 3D render of her. Okay. They just did it for me. I'm sorry, there's no way in hell that this thickness is comparable to that thickness. That is a much thicker saucer. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, but I think I'm right here. This looks way thicker than this, for sure. I wonder if you're going to give me any more examples. Oh, ho, more examples. Here we go. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look how thick that is. Look how thick that saucer is. I knew I wasn't going crazy. All right, so the saucer is definitely not as thick as it's supposed to be in the model. Look at that. Yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. the ship. Clearly see how thick it is. And then a sketch down here. Okay. When I stop mentioning the thickness of this starship, I think it's proven my point. Some information on filming starships. And that is it. And as you can see, the next episode is going to be on the Vorcha Klingon Attack Cruiser. Alright guys, um, that was an interesting read. We learned a lot uh, about this ship. Uh, let's move on to the rating. Uh, displayability, uh, honestly, uh, not much to say. It's got a very sturdy base. It sits in its place very nicely and look at it, it looks beautiful. So the displayability of this ship is going to get a 10 out of 10. Uh, now for its overall appearance, um, you look at the saucer right here along my fingernail. Yeah, that right there. It almost looks like they didn't, they weren't able to glue it down properly. So it's got a little bit of a gap there. Uh, it's a little annoying. Uh, I also noticed upon further inspection is there's a little notch right there. A little notch right there uh, so that also bothers me a bit so the notches the 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 fact that it wasn't completely glued down properly um, and the fact that this saucer should be a bit thicker than the way it is currently uh, will bring down the rating for uh, overall appearance and quality um, and I'm gonna give this ship an 8 out of 10 because of it and that's my rating guys uh, if you agree with me please mention it in the comments or if you disagree please mention it in the comments and give me your reasons for disagreeing I'm, I'm curious I'd like to know um, all right guys uh, thanks so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't you can give it a thumbs down if you like my content and want to see more of it please click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell notification button so that you know when I upload more videos also, please check out my uh, previous stuff. Alright everyone, thanks so much for watching. See you all next time.